All right, welcome back. We're going to get Mike some basketball lessons. Whoa. <laughs> Just <laughs> uh, No, they, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Oh, it was? Yeah, okay. Not that uh, bad? 65 Friday uh, today, 67 tomorrow, 74 on Sunday. Some morning fog to start Sunday, a few clouds, and warm to start next week. Another front may bring a small chance for rain on Wednesday. I believe in you, Mike. You got this. Mike, Mike, <laughs> Mike, Mike, Mike. <laughs> Well, we do know there's some superstars down there, mm -hmm. and right now he may not be one of them. Five stars right now. Mike, Mike. <laughs> Woo! Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Yes, it is a star studded Friday. We have got. Two actors here in the studio. We're going to chat with each of them in just a couple of minutes. By the way, Tiffany, thank you very much for being on my side with that. I was having a bad day on the court. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage, the non-basketball player in the group. A lot to celebrate today. We've got stars, we've got spurs, we've got cowboys. But first, I didn't write this. Most importantly, tomorrow's National Dress Up Your Pet Day. Who knew there was a National Dress Up Your Pet? Do you dress up your pet? We want to know if you have pictures of your pets dressed up. Are those your pets, Robert? That's our producer's pets. That's why we have that on there. So, yeah, dress up your pet day, and uh, hopefully we can show those a little bit later on coming up in the show. Well, our first cast has had roles in, I just looked at Internet Movie Database this morning, 134 different movies. And he remembers every line from every one of them, right? Every line, every line from every one of them. The Heat, Deep Blue, TV series Friends. My name is Earl, actor, comedian, and Michael Rappaport joins us live in the studio. Do you have a favorite of the 134? Um, it's hard to pick a, a one. I've been fortunate to do a bunch of stuff. Uh, um, I, I'm proud of everything I've done, good, bad, or indifferent. I'm excited to be here performing at LOL yeah. San Antonio, doing shows all weekend, and I'm excited to be talking to you. When you are in town, what do you like best? Well, so far, the food. I okay. had to, you know, I'm a little bit of a tourist, so I did the river walk. Um, food, I'm looking for some fantastic um, uh, breakfast burritos. I got some really good, uh, you know, in the cut recommendations. I am a Spurs fan. I'm a New York Knicks fan, but I love the Spurs. They will always be family members to me uh, uh, for decimating uh, the Miami Heat team. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, I mean, who, who doesn't love Tim Duncan? Where this was that, going, that, so. that was one of my favorite teams ever when they just destroyed and broke up the Miami Heatles. So I always love them. I love Popovich. You know, I love George Gervin, the Iceman, you know, Tim Duncan, David Robinson. So I'm a big NBA fan. So, so most basketball fans like the fact that they beat the Heat like that, I would assume, if you didn't like the Heat back in those oh, days, right? Oh, that was gorgeous. That yeah. was gorgeous. All right, back to movies. Melissa McCarthy, Sandra Bullock, a couple of people that you have worked with, too. Who made you laugh most? Pro Melissa McCarthy, she's funny. And, and when, she, when she turns it on, she turns it on. But Sandra Bernhardt uh, is no slouch, but Melissa McCarthy is, is comedic genius. All right, who haven't you worked with that you would like to? Oh, man, there's so many people I haven't worked with. I haven't gotten to work with the great Al Pacino, the great... Denzel Washington, Kate Blanchett. There, there's a bunch of people, a bunch okay. of actors, a bunch of directors that I haven't got to work with. Anybody you have worked with that you're like, eh, no thanks. You know, to be honest, I think this stereotype about Hollywood uh, uh, actors being difficult, for the most part, they're like everybody else. They go to work, they want to have a good day. I mean, there's been actors, there's been people that have had grumpy days. I, I've had my grumpy days. If you, I, I know it's shocking. I know I give off a very pleasant disposition. <laughs> but I mean, for the most part, I, I work with all of them again. Okay, back to the Spurs, of course. They've already sold a record amount of tickets and just get all the people in there tonight. So it's going to set a record about 65,000 cool. down there and uh, being that big Spurs fan. Of course, as you saw the video, Fiona, who is not here today, and I had a chance to go down there. So would you like to do more commentary on my basketball I mean, skills? I'm just saying the fact that you're showing it again just shows, uh, 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 like, you're a gutsy person because this is this is horrendous. Burn I know. this foot. I know. Burn this footage. Well, you need to use your knees when you shoot, man. And you got the gray hair just like Popovich. You need to use <laughs> your knees when you shoot. This is, I mean, even this, the I guineas. Had, I just had a lousy I mean, day. But it's, it's, it was one thing to like come up short, but like you're not even like coming up <laughs> sort of short. You're like not even making it. You're doing half court shots that aren't even. 
It's just brutal, one after another after another. David Sears said that when they first started playing in the Dome, opposing teams had trouble because, you know, it was the sight lines were what, off. What's your excuse? That, I mean, there's hours of this. That. We're just getting like a few seconds of this. There's hours, there's hours of this. That, and I think you should put the uncut footage on YouTube so that people this, could see. This guy right here on this camera, Ted, he has that. And he's the one that does it. Okay, put it up there. Put it up. You know, it's, oh, it's a record, record weekend. See, that's him right there. We want to see the rest of the footage. It's like the Zapruder footage. <laughs> uh, we want to see that. <laughs> the Zapruder footage. So not only sports, you're a big fan of um, Housewives? No, uh, love. Really? Uh, What's the attraction? Fantastic television. The Real Housewives of everywhere. The Real Housewives of New York, Real Housewives of New Jersey, Real Housewives of Potomac, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Real Housewives of <laughs> Miami, Real Housewives of Dallas, RIP, bring that back. Uh, Salt Lake City, Orange County, Beverly Hills, I watch and love it all. Why don't we uh, uh, try to uh, put out a, a Real Housewives of San Antonio? It would be awesome. Okay. It would be awesome. More drama in sports or Housewives? More drama is in the Real Housewives. Uh, 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 the, the softer uh, of the two are in sports. More complaining in sports than on The Real Housewives. Okay. The best thing on television, sports and reality TV. If you're going to couch potato on a Sunday, sports or Housewives? I do it both. You I do pick it both. one. But I do, I mean, NFL <laughs> weekend, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch my NFL games first and then come back and watch The Real Housewives of Potomac, which is airing this Sunday, which I have nothing to do with. I'm just a fan. I'm watching all my games. <laughs> I'm watching uh, my Giants beat the Vikings. I'm watching the Dallas Cowboys duke it out with Tom Brady. Uh -huh. I don't know how that's going to work out. Who are you that's, picking? Who are you betting on? Very quickly. I'm going to go with Dallas to win the game. Oh, I'm going to go with Dallas to win the game, but it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. And after he binges all of that, he's actually in town to put on a show. And four shows this week and two tonight, two Saturday night, LOL San Antonio, four shows. They're almost sold out, so come see me live at LOL San Antonio. And again, you see actor and comedian Michael Rappaport live at the Laugh Out Loud Comedy Club tonight. Tomorrow night, check out online for times and tickets. We've set up a link on our website, salive.com, and you can go to the uh, tab, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab for that. We have barbecue, as you saw. If you want to stick around, you are more than welcome to I need uh, the meat. I feel like that lady in that Arby's commercial. I want the meat. Where's the meat? It's right over there. Go yeah, for it. Yeah, let me get some of that meat, man. <laughs> well, Give me a slap, earlier, bro. The San Antonio Spurs Come on, man. are on track to break a record tonight with the most fans in attendance at a regular season game. And before the record-breaking game, Fiona and I went there yesterday to check things out. You've already seen the bad parts, but take a look. We are. Okay. Look at these seats. This is fantastic. Seats. Let's get in the game. Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay. On the court. Why not? All right. Just a few hours away tonight, this is going to be packed. The Alamo Dome, about 65,000 rabid Spurs fans for the 50th anniversary game. It is going to be history making, to say the least. <laughs> yes, and Becky Crimbro, Senior Vice President of Brand Engagement for Spurs Sports and Entertainment. Becky, was there any doubt that the San Antonio, uh, you know, the, that San Antonio would break this record? Not in my mind, not a doubt in my mind. When we kind of came up with this idea a few years ago, there's always some nervous excitement when you have an idea like this. Right. Is it gonna work? Are people gonna wanna come? Is this gonna be the right thing to do for the community? And that doubt went away very, very quickly. And uh, we knew that this was the right thing for us to do and that the community would show up in a big way. And it's also unique because the floor used to be, if you've been to games 20 years ago when it used to be here, just in that half of the Alamo Dome, turn the other way. And now this is the NCAA configuration with the entire dome. So this already is broken the, the pack the house configuration, <laughs> which we know we're gonna do tonight. Tickets are still available. So keep checking if you wanna come out here. The one thing that we really wanna stress though is for folks to get here early. Doors will open up at 4.30. The HEB Plaza will open up at 4 o'clock and VIA is going to start running park and ride shuttles from the AT&T Center and Crossroads starting at 2.30 this afternoon. And for those fans, I mean, when they're here for the game, what's going to make it more special for them? You know, there's all kinds of fun things that we have planned today. Um, again, the HEB Plaza will open up at 4. There will be a fan fest up there, so we'll have live music, balloon artists, face painters, giveaways. We'll have photo ops inside the building. So once you're here at the Dome, for folks who have tickets on the floor, we've got bar Barges celebrating our famous river parades um, that you can take photos in front of. And we've recreated the Spurs locker room. So everybody with a ticket can come 
take a photo in the original Spurs locker room. Okay, it would be really cool to go to this game, right? Oh yeah, yeah. for me. <laughs> one of the record setting mm -hmm. people in the stands. Yeah. Gotta I got a ticket. I got one ticket. One ticket. One ticket. One ticket to the person who makes a free throw. Really? You do? Oh, oh wait, sorry. Oh, no, one one ticket. Who's gonna okay, make it? No. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> Oh man, I got it. God dang it. Watch your toe. You're, you, you're over the line. Why are you right here? I'm not. There it is. on the Spurs, all you have to do is go to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the ad scene on Essay Live tab. Go Spurs, go! I'm a champion. I was born to win, came from behind now. Michael, see, I did make one right there. By the way, I did have soldier, shoulder surgery a couple of years ago. CGI. So nice they see, that was CGI. <laughs> Anyway, hey, by the way, if you want more information about uh, Park and Ride and everything else, because parking is going to be, it'll be interesting downtown and the traffic, ksat.com slash spurs. We've got all of that information. It was shoulders, so I can't do the best. So, hey, still ahead on SA Live Sports. Excitement doesn't end after tonight. There's another big game on the horizon. One local restaurant is getting ready for the Cowboys playoff game. But first. The pride of Brackenridge High School to Hollywood. We chat with this San Antonio native about her role in one of the biggest shows on TV. Our star studded Friday continues next on SA Live. Well, I love this scene. I just saw this. I love that. <laughs> Welcome back to SA Live. Well, our next guest is in one of the biggest TV franchises out right now. She plays Isakshi. Yeah, is that's right? correct. Okay, <laughs> you on the got TV it. show 1923, right here from the Alamo City, Amelia Rico joins us. Hello. Welcome. Hello. So good to be. I'm, this is, I'm, I'm kind of a little <laughs> starstruck here after yeah. just watching that scene. So, what's it like being a part of? I mean, the most popular TV shows on, on television. Yeah, it's been a, a amazing. A lot of the shows that I've been on recently have gotten such high ratings on the, you know, the, the Rotten Tomatoes. I've gotten 100% on Dark Winds, and then, you know, of course, Yellowstone and uh, 1923 are always up there on the top. So it's it's been a, a ride. Definitely. Okay, so you were in, what was it, season three of Yellowstone? I was in season three, episode six of, of Yellowstone, and then they brought me back for 1923, which well, I'm not playing the same character, obviously. Right. <laughs> And that was the episode number three, I think, right there. Uh, then, that was then, episode two of that, 1923. That was episode two. Okay, I need to keep track of things yeah. a little bit better there. So what's it like uh, being with some of the, you said you met Harrison Ford and uh, Helen Mirren? Yes, so um, I got to go to the, well, I was invited to the to the red carpet at, in Las Vegas because I was shooting at the time. So um, they flew me like private jet to, the, to Las Vegas from Montana and I got to meet Harrison and he is such, a wonderful person to talk to. He was so excited to have me there and to just have the indigenous story apart. I think that was a big uh, part of why he joined the 1923 cast was uh -huh. that he really wanted to hear more about um, you know the stories that really haven't been told in the Wild West stories that that have been out. Um, so he he's a great guy. He gave me a, a, a little peck on the cheek afterwards. <laughs> that was exciting. Uh, I didn't expect that. So I was like, oh my god, I'm never washing this cheek again. <laughs> so it looks a little. Dirty, yeah, and that's why. <laughs> that's why. And you said Helen Mirren was just like one of the guys. She was what, going after you. Yeah, ears. she she was l looking at my ear because my ear cuffs were kind of a uh, you know they I don't know if you saw the, <laughs> my pictures, but a lot of people were kind of I they were eye catching to say the least. So yeah, she was like trying to figure out how how are these on, and she was like manhandling my ear. I was like, oh, uh, this is totally natural. It's fine, you know. Helen Mirren's touching my face, <laughs> <laughs> trying not <laughs> trying to keep my cool. <laughs> yeah, just oh, this is. An everyday occurs is, to yeah. me. So, all right, Brackenridge <laughs> High School, where you met your husband as well. Yes, right? high school sweethearts. <laughs> what a wonderful story. So, when you come back, to, how often do you make it back to town? Um, we come maybe twice a year if we okay. can. Yeah. What's the first thing you want to do? Um, first thing is eat. <laughs> okay. We got barbecue over there. I know. I'm so excited for the barbecue. Yeah, we we uh, we're big foodies, so we we eat all sorts of places. But um, yeah, definitely we eat. We visit family. You know, uh, see all the sights. 
Okay. Cowboys fan? <laughs> just asking. I'm just making sure. Oh, yay, nay? Uh, uh, you know, I'm in Houston now, so kind of a Texans fan. <laughs> well, since the Cowboys are in the playoffs, because Houston is not, anyway, who are you picking on uh, Monday night? Uh, well, and, and it has to be Cowboys. Okay. <laughs> who, are pick, who are you picking tonight? Spurs? Uh, and Spurs all the way to my core, even if I'm in Houston, I don't care. <laughs> okay. It's always Spurs. All right. What advice would you have somebody, maybe the acting students back there at Brackenridge High School, as far as trying to break into Hollywood? You know, at this point, there's just no excuse to, like, not create your own content. So I was, you know, back before things were digital, I was, like, with my, I'm dating myself now with my big old camera on my, you know, <laughs> the big VHS days. Yeah. <laughs> creating my own stuff so I was creating my own content before that was like a thing so now you have your digital phones and everything that you just got to create your own stuff just go out there and start doing it and of course take acting classes take film acting classes that's really important okay. um, yeah. quick questions flour corn tortilla oh flour dogs or cats cats cold or warm weather <laughs> uh, warm I can't stand the cold oh my god it was so cold <laughs> in Montana you don't even know I have PTSD <laughs> how cold it was. <laughs> who haven't, very quickly, who haven't you worked with that you would like to? Oh my gosh. I'm there's sure the just, list is this long, There's but. just so many people, but um, I love to get on Reservation Dogs, you know, with Sterling Harjo. That's just such a great show. I'm excited. I, I'm excited just to watch it as a fan. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see the rest of 1923. Such a yes. pleasure to meet you. And for more information on actress, filmmaker, director, Amelia Rico, go to our website, salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Check out 1923. It is a great, great show. There she is, right there. <laughs> My determined this, grandma walk. This is so cool seeing you there and seeing, and seeing you there. Hey, still at NSA Live. We choose and use, save money. We check out a new trend in finding inexpensive, inexpensive things for the home and why you might even find a real hidden treasure. And next, what goes better with football than, say it with me, Amelia, Ooh, barbecue, barbecue, where you can watch the playoffs and enjoy some delicious food. It's straight ahead on SA Live. <laughs> Just, just look at that picture for a second. Oh my God. I know. So I know. Good. It's I like we're both wait. really good. Really. <laughs> so, hey, welcome back to SA Live. Does anything go better with football than barbecue? barbecue. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! And there's a huge weekend of football coming up. Of course, first round of the playoffs, and of course the big game Monday night. Cowboys taking on the Buccaneers. Chris Griffin, director of Venue Operations, and Emilio Solis, pitmaster from Smoke Barbecue, are here to show us a little bit what you have in store, not only for Monday but for tonight and every day of the week. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having okay. <laughs> so, you've been watching the last interview of me back in town dying for barbecue. <laughs> yes. So, fix her up here. What we got going we on? Got, we've got uh, brisket sandwiches. Uh, we got some nice meat to wash it down and some brisket nachos, which we'll have you guys okay. work on the brisket nachos. And I'll, I'll do your sandwich. So, basically, it's chips. Beans, cheese, and then you can add on the guac, sour cream, any of that. And I got your brisket right here for you. Okay. Make you start big as you want. You start with building. This? Okay. You work and eat, oh, yeah. and I'll talk. Okay. So, that that sounds good. There, like, yeah. And I'll start slicing. Okay. Making your sandwich. I know you don't want here. a sandwich. So we were talking about the, the Cowboys game, but you've got mm -hmm. uh, an after party tonight going on, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely, yes. There's nothing better to celebrate than a Spurs win, which is what's going to happen tonight. Exactly we are going tonight. to win. Go we're back go. home in the Dome, and we have a huge after party at our Sky Bar location on 501 East Crockett. And so we want everyone to come over after the game. You guys like onions? Am I invited? Sure. <laughs> yes, please, Loaded everything. Uh, you have <laughs> May ask if she's invited. Everybody, oh, absolutely. All San Antonio. All San Antonio is invited. Do you like more cheese on cheese. yours and then also the barbecue all on the there cheese. as well? So, so I mean, what's the secret to your barbecue? Uh, you know, everybody says, you know, the secret of food is love. and It really is love, man. Just mm -hmm. taking the time, doing the right steps, not cutting out any steps, trusting the process. You know, and putting in the extra time. You know, it, it cut corners taste bad, and we don't want we don't want that to smoke. Okay, what's better? And I guess I'll ask you this also, Amelia: brisket or ribs? <gasps> brisket. Oh. Brisket. Nice and moist. Uh, brisket. 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 All brisket? the way. It was the king all of meats. It's the king of meats. <laughs> it, it's the king of meats. It is better, the king. better than a good rib because those ribs are looking pretty good. They are, <laughs> and I've got plenty <laughs> for you too. All right, and now for the big party on Monday with the Cowboy watching party for oh, the yeah, playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be how many of your closest friends? We are hoping for 1,500. 
Yes, at I'm least, for a little bit less. A lot of bread. <laughs> <laughs> so like, no, you got to The pit master wants less because he has to cook how much in the way of barbecue? Uh, about 800 pounds of brisket, just the brisket. You know, mm -hmm. we have about 40, 50 racks of ribs, about two, 300 pieces of chicken, plus the sausage. Get there the early so you oh, can. Yeah. <laughs> I get there at four in the morning. It's it's an all day affair. It's, oh it's, my goodness you know, gracious! Mm -hmm. And then you've got something to wash it down over there as well. We right? do. Chris Absolutely. Yeah. We have our rib michelada, which is one of our popular drinks that we're going to be featuring tonight and on Monday. One of the other big things that we're going to be doing is Emilio, our pit master here, is going to be doing some live cooking at the tailgate on Monday. I'll be handing out some sort of food. We haven't figured it out yet, but you'll, you'll get something. <laughs> Other than brisket and Other than brisket and yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll do something special. And chicken and everything else. And how many locations do you have around town? We have four locations right now. So we have um, three that are on the Riverwalk, mm -hmm. and then we have one that is up north on 1604 in Redland. That is our newest location. Um, each one of them <laughs> is going to be having a tailgate party for the Cowboys on Monday. The biggest one, of course, will be at our Sky Bar location. We have the Jumbotrons. We have our pit master that's going to be doing live cooking right in front of everyone. We'll have some food going out, great drink specials. I mean, it's just going to be a great time. We love having a good party. Okay, and you need to hire this young lady because this <laughs> looks like just work of art. <laughs> yeah, the, She's doing a great job teach our employees how to make those nachos. Enjoy. <laughs> And if you need a nap, it's right there. Other than the big parties you have going on tonight and Monday, what are your hours? Our Monday, our hours, we are open uh, Monday through Thursday from 11 a.m. to 12 um, a.m. till midnight. Mm -hmm. And then on the weekends, we're open till 2 a.m. Okay. And still opening at 11. All right. Oh, the, the, the rib goes, that's right, yes. the rib goes And then you the get the rib mm -hmm. in your... Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> in your meat <laughs> That's what makes it right there. Well, well, Asking you, you should receive. Oh, yeah. There you, you go. Yeah, yeah, pass it down. Ah, oh, perfect. I love this. <laughs> and a rib <laughs> on top. All right. Well, if you'd like more information on Smoke Barbecue oh. and Smoke Sky Bar, go to our website, salive.com. <laughs> Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab or just scan that QR code at the bottom of your screen. How's the nachos? Oh my God, they're so good. Mm -hmm. Here, let's yeah, they're, they're for cheers. you also, Mike. The cheers with, with the rib, yes. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. All right, still ahead on SA Live. A team of team robotic engineers is getting ready for a big competition. How they're about to take the first step in competing with teams across the world. And next, buying furniture and home decor for a big bargain. We check out one spot that had lots of deals. How you can find more like them, keep it here. Welcome back to SA Live here in beautiful historic Market Square. Well, it's a new year, and if you're looking to rejuvenate and change up your home, you can find some vintage and antique items at estate sales. Contributor for the Happy Space series, David Hurtado, takes us inside estate sales with one local company where you can find great items at bargain prices. Take a look. If you're looking to spruce up or add to your home's decor and you don't want to spend a lot of money, estate sales might be the way to go. Or if you find yourself overwhelmed because you need to clear out a house, there's one estate sale company that can help and it's run entirely by women. Here's their story and how you can shop their sales. Let's go inside. I call us CEO sisters. It's just a great way to find lovely, beautiful things at good value. Sisters Peggy Calhoun and Joy Kernut saw the need, so they created an estate sale company called Professional Estate Sales. Its goal, to help those who are downsizing or in need of liquidating a home, and that's where you can benefit, by finding items for your home or add to a collection at bargain prices. There is such a variety, and when you go to an estate sale, you can choose quality furniture. There are often hidden treasures in a house. This is definitely a treasure. A KitchenAid mixer, $129. Cannot beat that. These are five, six, eight hundred dollars depending on a hundred and twenty nine dollars bargain when shopping at an estate sale you can find antique and vintage furniture items for the kitchen artwork clothing children's toys garden tools and so much more so this is a good thing about estate sales i have some of these i've broken them and 
these are exactly like what I have at home so I can replace the ones that I broke. So these, I'm glad to find these. There's something for everyone. You might even find your next set of wheels. And Peggy says she's noticed one group is seeing the importance of her philosophy, choose used. We have become such a society of throwing everything away. We buy items that are disposable and we are not realizing what that is doing to our society. And I think the millennials really have zeroed in on it saying vintage is the way to go. And if you think antique and vintage is just for those with older homes, some are mixing it up. People are, mix are mixing contemporary furniture and modern furniture with maybe an antique desk or an armoire. And it, it lends itself very well together. Whether they put an oriental rug in with that contemporary chair, it has a look that people really desire. If you haven't shopped estate sales, they aren't difficult to navigate. First, you go online to professionalestatesales.com to see a list of their upcoming sales. Then sign up to reserve your place in line and show up early and shop. That's it. Remember, go with your patience and a good eye because on the first day of the sale, it's controlled chaos. Robin, you're in. Okay. And if you want to wait, bigger discounts can be found on the second and third days of the sale. Our second day is usually 25% off and third day is 50% off. And through the years, the team at Professional Estate Sales have helped some of their clients find incredible treasures in their homes. We found many different items. One of the most exciting ones was a painting. We had the artist, but it took a lot to find anything about that particular example of their work. And I finally found a companion painting of a steamship called the Austin hanging in the Smithsonian Institution. So we sent it off to auction at Christie's and it was in the centerfold of the catalog and we watched it auction online for about 160000 as I recall. While most homes won't have a hidden Picasso or a vintage Babe Ruth baseball card, you can definitely find yourself a treasure or two or more. So head on over to the next professional estate sale because you just never know what you could find. And professional estate sales has one going on right now in Alamo Heights. You need to check it out because today everything is 25% off. And if you go tomorrow, everything is 50% off. So be sure to check that out. And we've got a link on our website or just scan that QR code right there at the bottom of your screen. Okay, still ahead on SA Live, thousands of dollars in gift cards are up for grabs. We are spinning the case at Insider Prize Wheel. Find out how you can sign up to spin and when you don't want to miss this. And next, local teens doing amazing things. Hear how, hear why they had to build these robots and why it's about more than just competition. Stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, on Wednesday, we met those folks, the young, youngest from the WolfBots robotic team, and today we're going to meet the folks that the WolfBots want to grow up to be. First of all, Coach Javier Duran and Team Spicy Ketchup joins us today, and some of the team right here. First of all, welcome, Javier. Tell us all about Team Spicy Ketchup. Uh, team Spicy Ketchup is a team that competes in First in Texas and First Tech Challenge. The, the, the goal of the, of the organization is designed to get younger kids to inspire them to love math, science, engineering, and study careers in, those, in STEM fields. So we take kids from generally from 8th grade to 12th, 12th grade. We teach them how to, do, to, to design parts on CAD, teach them how to manufacture parts on, on laser cutters and CNC machines, and then they build and program these robots. Yeah, these are not Lego robots. So you guys do this from the ground up, right, Brad? Yes, sir. So we start in the design phase on computers using CAD softwares like Fusion 360 and SolidWorks, and from there we end up building them, prototyping, and eventually coming up with finished products like these here. All right, and then how does the competition work? Because some of this is pre-programmed. Some, some of it's being controlled by you, right? Yes, sir. So 
our uh, competition is set up with the first 30 seconds is all pre-programmed, so the robot runs by itself. Mm -hmm. And the next two minutes is all driver control period, where we do everything all our, ourselves. Marco, what's your uh, what's your job? I'm a builder and a driver on the team. Builder and driver? Yes, sir. Okay, so Katie, does everybody kind of have their own little specialty? Yes, they do. So we have, there's a lot of things to do on a team like this. And so I'm a uh, lead programmer. You know, these two are both builders and drivers. We have social media team, we have documentation team, and we have outreach teams. Um, so everybody has their own specialty. Wow, that is amazing. All right, Jason Arms, who's the CEO of First in Texas, joins us. So this is a nonprofit. Why is this so important for kids to get involved in? Well, these sort of skills is what our kids need today to be able to do conflict resolution, team building, and just celebrating uh, STEM. Okay, and this is what, the lowest level of competition as of right now, and then where do they go from here, and then here, and then up yeah. from there? Currently here in Central Texas, they're qualifying for advancement to regionals, which mm -hmm. will be held in Belton, and then on to state championship, and of course, the world championship being held in Houston in April. All right, and when you say world, literally, how many different countries are involved? Over 100 countries from around the world will come together at the uh, convention center in Houston. All right. How do you get a perfect score on this? So really there is no perfect score. You can try to get as many points as you can in that two and a half minute period. So there's always this constant hunger to try to score higher and higher and compete against the best of the best. Okay. So what's your chances of uh, being number one in the world? Pretty darn good from the looks of it here. We're trying our best to get there. Yeah. Um, if we keep going the way we are, we're looking pretty good. So we'll see what we can do. Okay. What different ages uh, can get involved in robotics like this? What's the, the youngest? The youngest is pre-K, and that's with our Lego program that you saw on Wednesday. This program is for our middle and high school kids. All right. So the goal here is to get the cups over the sticks, and you have to do that a certain amount of time. Yeah, so we try to get as many of these cones on what we call our junctions, that's the poles here, and then the different level junctions will have different point values associated with them. How long does it take to build one of these robots? So it's a really few month long process. You have to design it, you have to get all the parts. You, a lot of us, the parts we have here, we machined in our own shop. Um, and so it's like three or four months to build it and then another month to program it at the very least. So what's next? The robots on Mars? <laughs> oh, that's the goal for some of us. Some of us are looking into different uh, industries as far as robotics go and engineering. Um, me personally, I'm looking to be an aerospace engineer. So sending rockets, planes into space and, and all that. So this sort of leads into that. This is fascinating. Best of luck to you in the competition, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. If you'd like more information on Team Spicy Ketchup and the First in Texas organization, go to our website, salive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or again, scan that QR code right there at the bottom of your screen. All right, next on SA Live, well, of course, it is Friday, so we are giving away free stuff. See what happens when we spin the KSET Insider Prize Wheel and how you can be the next big winner. Don't go anywhere. It's our first spin of the new year. One lucky winner still has a chance to take home a $2,500 cruise voucher from the KSAT Insider Prize Wheel. Let's meet today's winner, Robert Trevisso. Hey, Robert, how you doing? Hi. Hi, I'm real good. Thank you. Congratulations on being our winner today. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, sir. Hope you had a very nice New Year's and uh, Christmas. How long have you been watching KSAT? Oh, a long time. I want to say probably more than 15 years. Wonderful. Love it. And you collect coins and memorabilia. How, how many cards did you say you have? Baseball cards uh, and things? Roughly around 10, about 10,000. That must take up a whole room. So. Anyway, have you yeah, ever won? It takes up a couple of bins and it picks up a big closet. <laughs> have you ever won a big prize before? No, sir. Okay, well, we've got some good ones. $2,500 cruise voucher issued by Alamo Travel Group. Two nights stay at Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino Hotel. $2,000 gift card to Living Spaces. $1,000 gift card to Living Spaces. And a $250 gift card to HEB. Which one would you want to win? Ooh, up. Well they all sound good, but that's probably take the cruise voucher. All right, well, give me a countdown. Three, two, one, go! All right, round and round. He wants to go on that cruise. That'd be a nice little vacation yeah, cruise, in cruise, 2023. Cruise. Come on, cruise voucher. There it went around. Can I make it around one more time? I think it's got enough, enough oomph. Come on, come on, come on, come on! 
Oh, hey, two night stay at Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino Hotel. That'll be a nice Sounds little long, long weekend. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. All right, and again, a big thanks, Robert, for watching KSAT and SA Live. And we are going to be spinning at the KSAT Insider Prize Wheel for a new winner every first Friday of the month. You could be next, but you have to be a KSAT Insider. For details on how to enter, visit the website, ksat.com slash insider. And again, congratulations, Robert. Enjoy that two-night stay. Thank you. Okay, question for you. When was the last time you had your water heater flushed? KSAT local expert John Wayne Service Company shows us why it's better to do it sooner than later. Hi, my name is Travis Danner with John Wayne Service Company. Today, we're going to be doing a water heater flush for one of our customers. Let's go check it out. First thing we need to do is locate where to shut off water if we have an emergency. It's gonna look like this. This is your water shut off here. So now what we're gonna do is hook up our hose to the flush port here on our water heater. You just hook your hose up, make sure that it's tight and that there's no obstructions to the hose and then we'll turn the handle on and begin the flush. Before we do that, we wanna make sure that our hose is in a bucket. The reason we do this is to catch any sediment that comes out of the tank so that we can see how well the water heater did flush. And now we're ready to turn the water on. As you can see, there are some white chunks coming out of the water heater right now. And that's the whole reason that we flush these. I want to capture everything so that the customer can see the result when we're done. So as I pour the water off, there is some sediment that's collected at the bottom. And that's the whole reason that we flush these water heaters. This sediment actually can cause higher energy bills. Water heater will draw the water off the top. The thing we worry about most is energy consumption. But I definitely wouldn't want to shower in this either. Okay, well that's it for our water heater flush. We cleared the sediment out, checked off our safety checklist, and the water heater will be good for another year of service for our customer. Once again, my name is Travis Danner, and if you think you're in need of a water heater flush, give us a call or visit us at johnwayne.com. Thanks. Oh, look at how cute they are. National Dress Up Your Dog Day is tomorrow, or your pet, I should say. There's our producer Robert's dogs right there, all nice and dressed up. Beethoven in lilac, I love that. And Oh, how cute is that outfit? Yes, they are adorable. And Francis, <laughs> I love that shot right there. And one more, it was ready for the summer. Sorry, it's gonna be a little bit cool. All right, everybody have a wonderful and safe long holiday weekend. And go Spurs go tonight, 50th anniversary.